Well, hello everyone, and welcome to Hamilton High School um, for this special evening tonight where we get to honor the 2022 Top 20 Scholars for Hamilton High School. I would like to welcome a couple members that are joining us today. Uh, we have members from our central office. We have our superintendent, Mr. Michael Holbrook, who is with us today. We also have some of our board members, uh, Mr. Isgro, and Mr. Spray is also joining us as well. I'd like to welcome the educator mentors who have come tonight to represent your scholar. Um, I don't think that you will ever know or be able to put into words what you mean to these students to be sitting in this auditorium with them on this special night. So congratulations to you as well for coming as, to represent your student. Also, parents, uh, I want to extend a congratulations to you. Uh, the commitment and hard work and dedication that you have showed to your students have truly paid off uh, for an honor such as this tonight. So I hope you're able to sit back and relax and enjoy this show because you truly deserve all the honors that are coming to your students coming on this stage tonight. I also would like to recognize our top 20 students for your hard work and dedication in academics. But I also don't want to not recognize the hard work in your extracurriculars, your clubs, your organizations, all of those go into the character that make you who you are and special to Hamilton High School in the city of Hamilton. So congratulations on all of those. Lastly, um, I don't think that any of us can put into words how proud of we, of how proud of you we are and the things that we look forward to watching you accomplish as the future comes. We look forward to opening a newspaper, the internet, the TV, uh, and seeing names come across that have walked across this stage and walked across our commencement stage as well to make Hamilton High School proud. We all know that you're going to do great things. So without further ado, I would like to bring onto stage the counselor for the senior house, Megan Wheat, who will continue our program. Thank you all and enjoy. Hi, good evening. My name is Megan Wheat, and I'm one of the Senior House Academic Advisors, along with Ms. Lisa, Cud Lisa Cudill. Um, we are thrilled and grateful that we could all come together this evening to celebrate the achievements of our top scholars. These past couple years have been challenging, to say the least, but these students have persevered and continued to excel in their academic, academic endeavors, despite all the uncertainties surrounding them. This group has an average weighted grade point average of 4.53. They have completed 716 college credit plus hours, 177 combined honors and AP courses, and earned a total of over $3 million in scholarship offers, with many offers still coming in to this day. This in and of itself speaks to the incredible work ethic, determination, and passion that lies within each one of our top scholars. At this time, I will be introducing each student so they can share their future plans, introduce their educational mentors, and speak about their impactful educational memory. First up, we have our valedictorian, McKenna Oakley. Good evening, everybody. My name is McKenna, and I'm immensely grateful for this ceremony tonight and for the chance to share a little bit about myself with you all. I'm excited to announce that I will be attending Florida State University this fall for its accredited creative writing program and its extensive opportunities in undergraduate research. I plan on attaining my bachelor's degree and subsequently my PhD in creative writing while at FSU in hopes of becoming a novelist and a writing professor one day. These dreams would not be possible, though, without Ms. Lisa Caudill, my freshman English teacher who's over here right now. I'm honored to have her tonight um, as my educational mentor. Ms. Caudill's class gave me the skills and the work ethic I needed to succeed in every course that has involved writing since my freshman year. And without the principles and the discipline that I received from her instruction, I would not be able to have the confidence to pursue a career in writing like I am today. I also have my mom and dad here tonight with me, and I'm very honored to have them here tonight. They consistently went above and beyond to ensure that I could achieve my professional, academic, and personal dreams. And I just want to thank God, my parents, Ms. Caudill, and all the teachers that I couldn't have here tonight, but who nonetheless profoundly impacted my studiousness and character. Thank you all for your time.
Next, we will have Morgan Schutte, our salutatorian. So my name is Morgan Schutte. Um, I plan to attend Miami University next year because thank you to the opportunity I've had to take CCP courses the past three years, I will be able to graduate early like I had always planned on doing. Um, while at Miami, I will be majoring in medical laboratory science with the hopes of working as a laboratory scientist in a hospital one day. The educational mentor I have brought tonight is Ms. Miners, who was my honors chemistry and AP chemistry teacher in uh, 10th and 11th grade. I developed a love for chemistry through taking her classes, which inspired me to choose the major that I will be pursuing um, next year. Ms. Miners has been incredibly helpful to me throughout high school, even when I was no longer taking her classes. I would like to thank her for helping me to this point, as well as my parents, who I have brought here tonight as well. Their support and encouragement have been essential to my success, so I would like to thank them for helping me to achieve my dreams. Thank you. Our next top scholar is Lily Arvin. Good evening, my name is Lily Arvin and I plan on furthering my education at Miami University studying mathematics education. I chose Miami due to the different aspects um, of the community along with the excellent education department. I hope to either become a math teacher or an um, academic counselor one day. Um, tonight I chose to bring Mr. Malberg as my educational mentor. Mr. Malberg was my eighth grade English teacher and opened my eyes to pursuing a career in education. I saw the way Mr. Malberg taught in a, with a purpose and intention of bringing out the best in his students. He always found a way to make class entertaining and meaningful. I felt encouraged by the way um, he taught and created a space and an environment and, um, that was, um, that um, cared for his students. Um, this encouraged me to create the same environment in schools one day. Tonight, I also brought with me my mom and my dad, and I would like to thank my parents for supporting me in every step I take. I would also like to thank all my past and present teachers and academic counselors for showing up and pouring out into the future generation. Thank you. Next, we have Jared Hillipdink. My name is Jared Holupnik, and I plan on attending the Farmer School of Business at Miami University this fall. I chose this school because of its high ranking, especially with the major I've chosen. I chose to major in finance with the goal of pursuing a career as an actuary. This career involves a high understanding of data and using math, which is something I've always been strong with. Choosing a career that uses an application of math on a daily basis is what has helped me with my decision. Throughout my education up until this point, I've had many teachers who have had a role in my success as a student. One of these teachers, Mr. Eaton, who I had for AP Physics my junior year, taught me how important it is to be, uh, how important it is to understand more than just the material being taught. In his class, I learned that being a good problem solver and thinking outside the box is what makes someone stand out from the rest. Anyone can plug numbers into equations, but I found great enjoyment in learning how these equations came to be and how they can be used. In his class, I was able to use all my prior knowledge of math and science to approach real life problems, which is what I believe school is all about. I'd also like to thank my parents who have instilled in me the importance of education my entire life. My mom would take me to the library all the time and emphasize the importance of reading. My dad would always explain to me how things in the world worked and all the math behind it. They are the reason why I'm up here talking right now and I'm so grateful for everything they've done for me. Our next top scholar is Allison Porter.
Hello, everyone. My name is Allison Porter, and I plan on attending the University of Cincinnati this fall. I am drawn towards UC because of the diverse opportunities as well as the urban lifestyle provided on campus. Sorry. <laughs> I am planning on completing the pre-physical therapy program with a certificate in psychology. After college, I am interested in pursuing a career in rheumatology. Tonight, I am accompanied by Mr. Zach Mills from Ridgeway Elementary. I often consider him as one of my most influential teachers. Mr. Mills knew how to create a healthy balance between seriousness and fun. His classroom was always a safe place for all students to ask questions, ponder solutions, and truly be themselves. Mr. Mills provided support and prepared many students like myself for the uncomfortable transition between elementary and middle school. I would also like to give thanks to my parents, Michael and Trisha, as well as the rest of my family who have always pushed me to pushed me to the best of my abilities. When it came to school, they have never let me sell myself short in order to be in the position I am today. I also want to acknowledge any staff member or peer who has assisted me in any way throughout my, edu my educational journey. Thank you. Next we have Andrew Brown. Hello, my name is Andrew Brown, and I will be going to the University of Cincinnati, the College Conservatory of Music, for a degree in music education with a specialization in jazz studies. Um, I would like to thank all the teachers that I've ever had who have helped me grow, not only academically, but also as a person, to really, truly hear others. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Naylor, who I have here as my mentor, who I've had in the second grade, help in the seventh and eighth and ninth grade, and then taught in 10th and 11th and 12th grade. I've had him for a while. <laughs> and uh, I'd especially like to thank my mother, who throughout the whole chaos of childhood, the whole chaos of teenagehood, has stuck through me and really helped me to become a better person. Thank you. Our next top scholar is Nicholas Burkhart. Good evening, everyone. My name is Nicholas Burkhart, and I am planning on attending Case Western Reserve University with a major in physics. At the start of high school, I wasn't sure of the specific career choice I wanted to pursue. However, I knew that I wanted a path that engaged both in math and science. As I progressed through academics and extracurricular activities, I found myself drawn to science, but still held close to math. This is when I came across physics where I found a deeper connection as it interacts with my love for, so, uh, for space. I'm currently focused on a bachelor's in physics and depending upon the upcoming years, I hope to achieve a higher degree. Following college, I hope to enter the workforce that pertains to my career with my dream job at NASA. I would like to thank Mr. Pfeiffer who has been along this journey that dates earlier than high school. Mr. Piver is the head of the orchestra department at the high school and runs the live wire group. Since I started to play the cello in fifth grade, I have worked with several conductors and have looked up to the higher classes in anticipation of joining the high school symphony orchestra. <coughs> Music has always been a close hobby of mine and getting the chance to play has been an immersive experience, hence the baton and the lab coat. I would also like to give a special thank you to Mr. Graham, or Coach Graham, as he has been a part of my development on and off the field. Part of playing soccer for Hamilton was not only competing at the high school level, but by being a team that worked together to improve mind and body. Because he was also a science teacher, I could talk with someone that was closely related to my passions. Merci beaucoup. I want to thank um, my mother and my grandmother, who have been a heavily influential part of my life since day one. 
Finally, I want to acknowledge all of my teachers, coaches, peers, friends, and family, past and present, for helping me make it to where I am today, for molding me who I stand before you. Thank you, and au revoir. Our next top scholar is Layla Johnson. Hello everyone, congratulations on being a top scholar and congratulations to everyone who's helped you get here tonight. I have grown up with all of you and I have seen firsthand how hard you all have worked and the sacrifices that you have made to be here. But now it is time to look towards the future and the future that we all have been waiting and working so hard for. I will be attending Miami University this fall, majoring in neuroscience and psychology and I do plan on going to medical school um, after undergrad where I hope to eventually work in pediatrics. I plan to study and do research within neuropsychology and how it relates to developmental disabilities. With me tonight are my parents, who encouraged me to get to this point, but never pressured me with academic expectations. Like all of you, the personal pressure to succeed is enough. I think we all have those minds. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for your confidence in my achievements. Then I brought Miss Lucas, one of the most important people in my educational career. Far beyond academic help, Ms. Lucas has always gone above and beyond to make sure I have reached my goals. She will forever be the person I go to for advice and help. Finally, Morgan Schutte, our salutatorian tonight, and my closest friend, has helped me more than she'll ever know and has helped me keep up with all of you for six years. I truly don't think I'd be here tonight without her. Um, her consistent help and reminders of how to do simple math. There are obviously so many people to thank for this, and I could go on and on, but I will just simply acknowledge that there are so many incredible number of people who have helped me get here. I cannot wait to see where you all will go, and everything I certainly know you will all accomplish. And I am just so incredibly honored to be here with you all tonight. Next, we'll be hearing from Sean McGuire. Good evening, everyone. My name is Sean McGuire, and this fall I will be attending the University of Cincinnati College of Nursing, a highly valued program and school that I believe will provide me with the resources to succeed while staying close to home. My goal once I have obtained my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing is to be a travel nurse for a number of years until I've decided to settle down or simply get sick of it. I hope to use this experience to further my career into becoming an allergist, Becoming a doctor has always been a love-hate relationship for me. Understanding the time and dedication required to achieve the title, yet knowing the benefits of reaching such a high stature. Tonight, I've invited Carlson, my biology and AP environmental science teacher, whose course honestly threw me for a loop. Until experiencing Carlson's honors biology, I had been a straight-A student and never really had to truly try in a course, but this was not the case. I watched as my grades plummeted from a te poor test scores and honestly was in shock by the difficulty of the class in comparison to the past. Obviously, during the time, I never truly liked how hard the course was and the workload involved. Yet the year after, I realized I had actually retained the content and as I looked back at the class, I honestly missed it. From the highly animated presentations to interactive lectures, I found myself reminiscing on this class, which of course I meant I had to sign up for AP Environmental Science the next year. I've also brought along my mom and dad, who have been a major part of this achievement tonight. From the very beginning, they pushed me to go the distance and to do more than what was expected of me, which I truly believe has led me to where, be where I am today. I would just like to thank you, mom and dad, for keeping me on the right path and pushing me to achieve this goal of mine. I also want to thank anyone else here tonight who has helped me in any way, whether it was through class lectures or guiding me through high school decisions. I wouldn't be here right now if, we're not, 
if it were not for everyone here. Thank you all for your time. Our next top scholar is Brendan Thomas. Hi everyone, my name is Brendan Thomas and I will be attending Cedarville University in the fall. I chose this university for two reasons. Its foundation is built on Christ and it has one of the best computer science programs in the country. With that being said, I will be majoring in cyber operations and I hope to become an ethical hacker with my degree. As for my educational mentor, I brought Mrs. Getz because she has had a major impact on my life. I joined her photography class two years ago because I love photography. And one of the most significant things she has taught me was that in order to have an appealing and distinctive picture, you have to observe and find a unique perspective using your lens. To many, these might sound like words related to photography, but this lesson can be applied to life in general. We see this world through our own lens, and if we want good outcomes and great experiences, we have to work for it when God gives us the opportunity. Tonight is one of those outcomes, and every single one of us worked hard to be here, and each one of you deserves it. Ultimately, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the people that pushed me to be here. Two of those people are here with me tonight, and they are my mom and my dad. To them, I'd like to say thank you for all that, all that you have done for me so that I would be here tonight, including all the countless nights that I had you quiz me on my vocab words, create science fair boards, proofread 10 page essays, and stay up until 1 a.m. studying for a test the next day. I also wanted to say a special thank you to my siblings, family, church, teachers, and guidance counselor for helping me along the way. For my other top scholars, congratulations on this achievement. I wish you the best for the future. Our next top scholar is Draven Downey. Hello everyone, my name is Draven Downey. Uh, after graduation, I'll be attending Miami University Regionals and finishing my degree at Miami Oxford. Uh, I chose Miami as they're a fantastic school with a great education program and they're right in my backyard, so yeah, I couldn't pass it up. I'll be pursuing an integrated social studies degree so that I can teach high school history and other social studies classes. Uh, I'd now like to introduce my educational mentor, Mr. Sunderhouse. I had Sunderhouse for CCP U.S. History and CCP U.S. Government, and his presentation style and enthusiasm made me look forward to his class every day. He made me realize the true importance history has in understanding current events and the impact that voting can make on our futures, not only in presidential elections, but on the local level as well. His class made me passionate to want to teach history and to vote as soon as I could, which I did. I have brought with me my mom, Tracy, and my father, Chad, and they have always supported me through thick and thin and pushed me to do the best I can in and out of school. I likely would have never made it here without their encouragement and kindness. I would also like to take a moment to thank the rest of my family and friends, the entire fine arts department here at Hamilton High, especially Haven and Mrs. Fox, uh, Mrs. Blevins for inspiring me my love for songwriting, and all of my history teachers uh, who aren't here tonight, but uh, Mr. Herzog, Mr. Nickel, and Mr. Barger for further inspiring me to choose history as, uh, as my career. Our next top scholar is Marissa Collier. Hello, my name is Marissa Collier. After graduation, I plan to pursue a career in graphic design. I hope to eventually start my own graphic design business and use my talents to make art to bring awareness to underrepresented people and causes. I also hope to help support small businesses around town wherever I end up living. I have brought my former counselor, Ms. Allison Bridge, as my educational mentor tonight. 
Over the past four years, she has impacted my success by teaching me to put my well-being first. She taught me that success is not necessarily about quanti quantity, but quality. I was stretching myself so thin with my classes that school was the only thing I had time for. After putting my well-being first, I did drop out of a lot of classes, but I became much more successful in the classes that I did pursue. I found myself focusing more on what I enjoy, which has put me on the best path possible. I cannot thank her enough for teaching me the importance of focusing on what brings me happiness and putting myself first. I also want to say a quick thank you to everyone who has been a part of my journey so far. Every interaction that I've had with everybody has led me to become the fulfilled and successful version of myself I am today. And I would not be here without any of you, whether you played a positive or a negative role in my life. Next, we'll be hearing from Sydney Jones. Hi, I'm Sydney Jones, and this coming fall, I plan on attending the University of Cincinnati. I'll be majoring in psychology but I'm hoping more to discover, to discover more about what career I'd like to pursue once I get there. Today, I brought my seventh and eighth grade history teacher, Mr. Wilson, with me as my mentor. He was the first teacher I had that was able to connect what we learned in the classroom to what was happening in the real world and in our lives. He taught lessons that we could take with us beyond the walls of the school. And what I learned in his class helped me look for the life applications and things I could learn in the future. Today, I also brought both my parents and my sister with me, and I wanted to thank them for always coming to all my concerts, my games, and ceremonies like this for support. Thank you. Our next top scholar is Bailey McCracken. Hi everyone, I'm Bailey McCracken. Um, I plan to attend the University of Cincinnati in the fall. I decided to go to UC because I like the city environment and the location is very convenient for me. I'm undecided on a major, but I'm very interested in the archeology span program. Archeology span and ancient artifacts are extremely interesting to me and I hope to travel and do in-depth research on such things in the future. The educational mentor with me tonight is Ms. Caldwell. I chose her as she has been my math teacher for three years now and has continuously challenged me throughout all of them. I not only respect her as a teacher, but I'm extremely grateful for the guidance she has provided me involving my personal life. She was always willing to listen to me and never made me feel like a burden. My brother and grandma are also here supporting me tonight and I'm forever appreciative of the love they have given me throughout my entire life. I will also thank my counselor, Mrs. Wheat, for consistently helping me with any issue and also supporting me throughout my years here. Next, we'll be hearing from Curtis Moak. Hello, my name is Curtis Smoke, and I plan on attending Lincoln Trail Community College to play college baseball. I chose this school because I believe that it's the best future for my future baseball career. I plan to study business management and dive deeper into the business world. I chose this major because I want to learn more about the few areas I am interested in, such as sports management and owning my own business. Throughout my educational journey, I have had many different teachers who have helped with my success as a student. One of these teachers was Mr. Herzog, my history teacher who had my freshman year. 
He made it a point to show how important it is to know more than what is taught in school. I remember at the end of the year, he had a presentation for us. This presentation made a huge impact on me and motivated me to do good in the world. I realized how much he cared for his students and how dedicated he is to his job. I would like to thank Mr. Herg Herzog for what he taught me that year for both in school and outside of school. I would also like to especially thank my parents for what they taught me at an early age. I remember when I was younger, my parents used to make me do homework when I got home from school before I could do anything else. Looking back, this made me realize how important my education is. I don't know what I would do without them. Thank you, Dad and Mom. Next, we have McKenna Parker. Hi guys, my name is McKenna Parker and I, this fall I will be attending UC just like a lot of my other top scholars along with me today. Um, I'll be majoring in real estate and finance. I chose UC because of the countless opportunities it will give me to see, succeed in my, my desired career. <laughs> the co-op program will allow me to work firsthand with real estate business and also make money throughout college. Today I've invited Miss Christina Fox as my mentor. She has been one of the biggest inspirations and mentors throughout my high school career. Every day for the past three years, she has shown me what it is, what it is like to want something and how to go after it. She has also taught me how to be a leader and deal with several social and personal hardships. I'll be forever grateful to Ms. Fox and every opportunity she has provided me. The family members I brought today are my mom and dad um, and my sister. <laughs> um, and I just wanna thank them for giving me the motivation and the drive to just continue with my education and stay on top of things. Um, they have raised me to think clearly and morally and I owe them the credit and thanks for that. I'm an independent woman who will be successful and achieve every goal I set for myself. Our next top scholar is Danny Tran. Hey everyone, my name is Danny and I'm planning to attend Ohio State University in the fall. One of the main reasons I am attending this school is due to the massive size of the campus, which I have always looked forward to as a kid. When I was originally looking into schools, Ohio State was actually not into, on my list until I visited, and the environment of the campus really captured exactly what I was looking for, as well as a recognizable program for my major. I am planning to major either in mechanical or aerospace engineering with the goal to work in an aspiring technological or automotive company that is constantly pushing for innovations that would change the future. Companies such as Tesla or Lucid Motors have always been an interest to me, even though that might be a little bit too ambitious coming out of me. It might be a little ambitious coming out of me because I'm worried about not getting a job right after graduating college after several or dozens of job applications and getting denied over and over. <laughs> that was not in my script at all. <laughs> <laughs> my, my educational mentor that is here for me today is Professor Mallory, who taught me biology earlier this year in my fall semester at UC Blue Ash. Even though it hasn't been that long since I met Professor Mallory, he has already done so much for me that he probably doesn't even know and is the reason why I chose to chase ambition after all of these years. He personally took time out of his day to let me ask him all kinds of questions regarding school and his career choices. At the time, I was still very unsure about what I wanted to go to school for, and he was able to walk me through his steps of finding purpose and how I could find mine through summer programs and getting hands-on experience in future careers. That ultimately led me to participate in engineering simulations over at UC Main Campus, and I, am, I am now much more confident about what my purpose is and what I want to do now. So again, thank you, Professor Mallory. My brother and my mom are also accompanying me here today, and thank you to them for supporting me and leading me onto the path I am happily on today. And thank you to anyone in this room that has ever even helped me once, as I appreciate it greatly. Thank you.
Our next top scholar is Emma Gilbert. Hi, my name is Emma Gilbert, Emma Gilbert, and I first want to thank you all for coming. As much as an honor as it is to be here, I cannot wait for the next four years of my academic career. I plan to attend Miami University, Oxford. I believe their educational standards are best fit for me in the small college town atmosphere is where I belong. As a future Red Hawk, I will be majoring in zoology and applying to enter their pre-veterinary program. With this degree, I hope to further my academic career once again into a currently undecided college, there receiving my doctorate of veterinary medicine. I wouldn't have these high expectations and dreams for myself if my parents didn't as well, who are here tonight supporting me as always. Although they are tough at times, I wouldn't trade this for the world as it has shaped me into the driven person I am today. Mom and Dad, I hope by seeing me on this stage, you feel the same sense of pride that I do. Also here supporting me is my high school tennis coach, Mr. Turner. Turner, I may not have been able to say this in the moment, but I thank you for pushing me to my limits. Your belief in, your belief in me on and off the court was always inspiring and helped to build my character in more ways than one. I leave tonight knowing that I couldn't have achieved this without you, without you three, and congratulations to my fellow top 20 classmates. Thank you. Next, we'll be hearing from Rebecca Judd. It is not an uncommon question to ask little kids, what do you want to do when you grow up? It's harmless enough, and when I was younger, the possibilities seemed endless. So many things I could do in the future, but as time went on, I watched as the possibilities started to fade, and I found myself with nothing but a lack of ideas. I didn't know what to do. It wasn't even that anyone was telling me I had to know this now. In fact, the majority of people even told me I didn't need to know. But that didn't stop me from pressuring myself. I would spend hours a night taking career aptitude tests, hoping that one of them would show me the perfect map of what ne my next step should be. But unfortunately for me, that map didn't come. Now, that being said, there are a few things I've always known I wanted to do. I've always been close with my family, so I will be, I will be attending Miami University Regionals at the Hamilton campus. This will allow me to continue living at home and save money for the, for the dreams that will hopefully present themselves in the future. I will also be majoring in digital commerce, which is their marketing program. Now, this is something I make sure to write in pencil instead of any permanent ink. I'm going in with a versatile major and will hopefully leave multiple doors open for myself. And then when I graduate, well, I don't know what comes next. That's where any sort of path I have in my mind tends to end. There could be anything at the end of that pathway, I just can't seem to see it. But one thing is clear. I'm not as afraid of the unwritten as I once was. I look back at the past four years at Hamilton High and it's amazing to see how much I've grown. I can think of all the changes that once I thought I couldn't handle that are nothing but a memory now. My educational mentor here today is Mr. Huber, who taught me government during my junior year. I was in a CCP course the year prior, and for someone who was always trying to take steps up, I wasn't expecting to take the small step down. I may not have expected to drop into his class, but it taught me so much. In his class, I learned that not every course needs to feel impossible to be beneficial. There is always someone there to listen, and changing your priorities to put yourself first is one of the best choices you can make. Mr. Huber has served as an inspiration in my life and is one of many people I would like to thank for getting me here. But if I listed everyone, that would be quite the list, so I'll keep it short. Thank you to my parents and family for putting up with me and supporting me all these years. To my teachers who taught me not only their subjects, but so much more. And to everyone who believed in me, even when I struggled to believe in myself. Without you, I wouldn't be where I am today. Thank you. Our final top scholar is Jack Ryan.
Good evening. I've chosen to go to Wright State University because the biochemistry program they have there is really great, and I'm hoping they can point me in the right direction. I'm going into biochemistry because I really enjoyed my chemistry class, and I intend to go into cancer research. I've chosen Madame Seerhoff as my mentor because from being in her class, I feel she genuinely enjoys her job and cares about her students. She checks in with her students and puts in extra effort to make sure they succeed in her class, and her class is also really fun. Uh, one day, I hope to have a job I love. My mom and dad are over there in the audience. I like to thank them for believing me and telling me, don't stress about it whenever I'm already stressing out about something. Um, I like to also thank my band teachers, Mr. Naylor and Mr. Dixon, who I've known and have learned from since fifth grade. They've been really supportive and have inspired me numerous times throughout the years to work hard if I want something, and sometimes a positive attitude makes all the difference. I'd also like to thank my best friends. I wouldn't have gotten anywhere without them, and I'm really grateful for them. They've made me more happy than grades ever have. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you, seniors. We are all so proud of you. Please know that when you leave these doors, you will never go without support. The educator mentors who are sitting with you have impacted your life and will continue to be there for you. I would like to take a minute to have all of the educator mentors please stand so that you can be recognized for being an inspiration to your students. Students from Hamilton City School District, we wish you the best of luck in everything you pursue. We cannot wait to hear about the incredible adults you become and the success that life brings you. At this time, we would like for the top scholars to come to the stage for a photo. Also, we have backdrops in the hallways for any family photos. Thank you all for coming.